All right. And my microphone is unmuted. Isn't that wonderful? Please pardon my super squeaky chair. All right. Sadly. There's no way I can fix this. I need to buy a new chair. But I'm really scared to buy anything that requires shipping right now. For, you know, real reasons. Um, before we start... Just want to check the audio quality. It was a little bit better earlier today. The game was a little bit loud when we played Jack and Daxter earlier today. So, um, so yeah, definitely, definitely want to check this audio. Secondly is I'm trying to face my microphone away from my air conditioner. Earlier today I didn't have my air conditioner on, but right now I do. So... Uh, it's on, it's on fucking energy save mode, so it'll come in and out. And as always, gotta check the volume on my TV, make sure nothing's going too crazy. Right, I need to get like, uh, I need to get like something I can, I can like plug up to my TV that just goes straight into like headphones. I really need that. Uh, other than that, uh, I think that's it. Let me just check the audio real quick. You're going to hear a little bit of a... Uh, you're going to hear the stream repeat itself, so let me see. I really need that. Uh, other than that... Alright, I think it sounds fairly good. Right? Let me uh, lower that. We are playing this on the PS3, if you cannot tell. No, this is not emulated. Right? And in order to show you that... Look, look at that. It's amazing. Look, it's the home screen. That's crazy, guys. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Anyways, so Sly Cooper. Besides the fact that I love Sly Cooper, right? And now my air conditioner is starting, so I apologize. Um, besides the fact that I like Sly Cooper, the reason why I really want to stream this right now is because, man, I don't know what the fuck is up with Sucker Punch. I love those guys. I do. It's hard not to. But, um, when, when they release, when they first announced Ghost of Tsushima, Tsushima, blah, 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 gotta say that correctly, um, my, my initial thought was, that's cool, right? And then the whole PS5 event happened, and then they showed off, hey, we're continuing Ratchet and Clank, uh, we're continuing the, uh, reboot line as a different story, rather than, like, doing the second game, and which is good, because Going Commando is kind of goofy. Um, but I was sitting there, I was like, we still ain't hear nothing about Sly? You guys been working on the movie since, like, 2015. I don't even think they were working on the movie, that was just, like, a teaser. And we never heard anything else about it. Uh, other than that, there's just like, it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be crying about Sly. Yeah, that's right. I'm crying. I wouldn't be crying about Sly as much <laughs> if only they didn't end Thief of Time, uh, Thieves in Time, on a fucking cliffhanger. That really hurts, man. It's like we've been through this shit before with Berserk and fucking uh, Half-Life, right? And hell, even Kingdom Hearts, right? There's no need for fucking to end your series on a cliffhanger. Like, there should be a fucking law that if you do that shit, you are required to make a new one to finish it. But anyways, we're here on the HD collection. Here's Thievius Raccoonus, right? Here's Sly 2, Band of Thieves, the best game ever. And here's Sly 3, a game that wasn't as good as the second one, but it tried, it tried, it really did. It dragged on, like, for fucking ever, though. And then, uh, a bunch of other shit. Yeah, I have yet to, <laughs> I have yet to play Sly 3 on this collection. Oh my god. Um, but yeah. We're gonna be playing, oh my fucking voice just cracked, that was terrible. We're gonna be playing fucking Thievius Raccoonus. Because, well, you can't just start with Sly 2, and also this is gonna, you know, these streams are gonna work as like a, somewhat of a, you know, let's play video on the YouTubes, I'm gonna upload these things, so might as well get them out the way, right? 
Also, we can't go into slide two without playing Thievius Raccoonus. Come on, man. You gotta know about the lore. The Sly Cooper lore. Love Thievius Raccoonus. I love it so much that I only beat this game like once or twice, and that was on like the PS2. I've never beaten this game on the PS3. The Band of Thieves? Damn right I beat that game multiple times. Sly 3? I only beat that game once. That game took like forever. A Sucker Punch production. Yeah. Sucker Punch is great, man. And I have yet to play Ghost of Tsushima. I'm going to buy it, like, uh, within the week. I don't need to get it day one. I'm not that crazy. I'm also juggling other games like fucking Last of Us 2 and goddamn. I'm still playing Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition and fucking recently started Final Fantasy XIV. So you see me run around with a sprout. Those of you who have... Uh, applied for the FC, you're probably in it now, so, uh, for those of you who are in the FC, my name is Shayon Dwin Ray on there, so you can see my little, my, my cat guy running around, fucking Dragoon style, but, we're here playing Sly Cooper Thievius Raccoonus, that's what we're fucking doing, love this game, oh, oh no, oh no, forgot, totally forgot, Save and quit. Forget that you seen anything. Forget it. You seen nothing. You didn't see that. Now, I believe, sadly, Sly Cooper. Here we go for menu. Does it have multiple save files? I don't. Oh, it does. Okay, here we go. That's really fucking impressive that, like, back on the PS2, right from the get-go of the start menu, you're just in it. Also, you move the analog sticks around, you can... Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel slide. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. Fucking. <laughs> I love fucking with that. I'm gonna lower my TV a little bit. I don't think it's echoing into the microphone, but. Eh, this should be at a good volume. I really hope it's not echoing into the microphone. You know what? Next time, uh. I don't want to do it during a cutscene. Never mind, fuck it. I'm just going to hope that it's good. If it's not, I apologize. Right? Uh, I have these wires in the way. My microphone wire. Alright. Oh my god, it's been a long time since I held the PS3 controller. Last time I held the PS3 controller was like three months ago. And that was because I bought some, like, new games. Hey, Bentley, I, think I'm I bought some games I never played. I'm gonna check the audio. I'm sorry. You might hear some echo. Alright, I think it's good. I'm pretty sure the audio is good. I really hate that, um... I hate that my fucking air conditioner is so damn loud. But anyways... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Right off the bat? We're fucking it up? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's just something about Sly 1 that, like, the controls are a little bit slippery. I don't remember them being like this. Sly 2, it was definitely more like... A little bit more strict, but not too strict, right? Also... Is this fucking inverted? Huh. Oh my god, I gotta hold the button. I'm sorry, I forgot. I gotta hold the button. I'm used to the older games. I mean, the, the newer games. Where you don't gotta hold the button. You just tap it. And he does his fucking... His, uh, Devious Raccoonish bullshit. Is there anything up here? 
again, I don't have that much experience with the first game. I only beat it like twice, so I don't remember everything. So finding bottles... Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I fucked that up. It was supposed to be all stylish and shit? I messed it up, big time. I'm the best thief ever, though. It's Panda King. I would like to see some of the, uh, how do I, um, is it select? No. Here we go. I would like to see some of these guys, right? For some reason, that just reminds me of, uh, what's her name? Uh, Neela. Uh, there it is. That good old platforming. Feels great. Are these pictures of Sly? Let me see. Uh... Yeah, there's pictures of Sly. Very low-res pictures of Sly. Gotcha. Nine, three, seven. <gasps> it's my files. Nice job. You got it. If you come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot, we'll be waiting in the getaway van. This game looks great. I'm sorry. This game just really looks great. I love the aesthetic of this game so much. It's so good. Oh no! You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you Sly. Your eyes are clipping through your eyebrows. It's freaking me out. I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Are you kidding me? Did I just see a fucking... Up! Oh! <laughs> I'm about to die. Did I just see a fucking spider in my room? I really hope not. I'm gonna start crying. I hate spiders. Can't deal with them. Right? Oh, shit. Come on, Carmelita. Give me some break. Where the fuck am I going? Down here. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh, you can't hit me. Oh, your aim sucks. Turn on your aim assist. Let exit. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Phoebus Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to the door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered them and ransacked our house until they found us. The Phoebeus Raccoon. Our family's men who were acting great as fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up. Each villain was affiliated with the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was done with the town of the village. There I met two guys who came my life on one. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the fiendish raccoon. 
Alright, well there was Sly's tragic backstory. So, give me a moment. I just really don't like the way how, I just don't like how fucking loud my air conditioner is. So I'm, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go turn it off. I'm about to suffer. But that's okay, right? God damn it. Moving the microphone back down. Here we are. Okay, cool. I turned off my air conditioner. Alright. So you won't hear that in the background. My chair is still squeaky. And, um... Also, later tonight, we're probably going to have a bit of an interruption. I do have some family co from coming um, out of state. So... So, yeah. Probably about like in an hour and a half from now. Right? I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. Alright, so Bentley has. Bentley talks about some old movies, right? But, um. They're all just like trailers for the original Sly and shit. We can watch those later. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Sorry, I thought I thought I saw something for a moment. Here's Murray. I I don't. No, I'm good, Murray. So he's covering the uh, map to the next area. This is our first area. There's a total of five areas in this game. For the Fiendish 5, of course. Also, I increased the volume on the gameplay because I just, um, I felt like it was a little too low. Hope I don't regret it. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish 5 as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. I thought it was going to say fear. I was close. So, Sorali's kind of interesting, not because... Not because of anything in his, like, character. 
just for the fact that I think he's the only villain in the series that has like the most animalistic appearance because he's a fucking frog right everyone else in this series gets kind of humanized right even like Dimitri from 2 who's a fucking uh, lizard not a lizard what is he like a gecko or some shit oh fucking no he's like a bearded dragon no, he's not a bearded dragon. What the fuck is yeah, Dimitri? Sure. Like that ladder there? An iguana? But do not forget slide. He might be an iguana. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Alright. So in Sly 1, right? Sly gets his ass kicked by anything and everything. You take one hit, you're dead. Unless you grab yourself a lucky horseshoe, right? Um. So Bentley's now talking about the, uh, whatchamacallits. The, um. Up there, those clue bottles and shit. I forgot how to get up there. Do I hit this with my cane? Yeah, I do. There we go. They drop. Bop them. Get them. So every level. There's a total of, well, not a total, um, well, there is a total of clue bottles, but it varies. Some are like 20, some are 35. I think, I think the most you'll find in this game is 35, right? There's a clue bottle over there. I'm going to try and get them because this is a platformer and I mean like, come on, there's real, like, there's no reason not to get them. Right? They all give you upgrades. And the upgrades are pretty handy. Especially in the later levels. Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step and you'll mm -hmm. be subjected Yes, I do. I do see the searchlights. You done whining. Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. So, I feel like... I, I'm pretty sure it, everyone can be at a consensus when we say... Um, wow, that almost hit me. When we say that in Sly Cooper 1... Oh, son of a bitch. In Sly 1... Uh, our gang here, they're supposed to be, like, the best of friends, right? Come on, throw your starfish, bitch. They're supposed to be, like, the best of friends. You know, through thick and thin and everything like that. Three musketeers. There's a clue bottle up there, I want that. But, it feels like they're kind of just acquaintances in this game. All the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24 7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. If he gets in my way, it's on. Oh no! <laughs> Def one out the way. Alright. So yeah, um, like I was saying earlier, I'm gonna trip over my words a lot. I recently. I recently just ate dinner and I'm like full, so I can't get my thoughts together. But, um, please don't hit me. Wow. But, uh, uh, I can't get my words together. I can't remember what the fuck I was saying. Um, they seem like they're not that good of friends in this. How the fuck do I get up there? And I think, I think it probably was originally planned out. I, it's just a hunch that I have. How the fuck do I get up there? Can I just... Can I just, uh... I can jump over this, right? Nope. 
There's no coming back. No. I probably could have just climbed up there. Should have done that shit earlier. Is there really no going back up there? I call bullshit. I call bullshit. I can jump this. Come on. Come on. Come on, give it to me. Alright, well, I fucked that up. Really. I'll come back for that at some point. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there's a way for me to get back over there. But yeah, I'm pretty sure... Well, I'm pretty sure. I have a hunch that originally when they were planning the story for this game, though got, uh, Bentley, Murray, and Sly were probably like just a ragtag group of thieves. Like Sly needed some partners and he went and got some people that he thought were capable. Because they kind of bicker a lot <laughs> in this game. And it's like, man, I'm not sure if it's because this is like a, a younger Sly, right? Because Sly in this game, even from his character model, you can tell he just, he looks really young. Or maybe it's just that like Sly's on edge because he, this is like a big heist for him. He's like, they killed my dad in front of me when I was a child. Everything rides on this. Excuse me, what the fuck just happened there? The hell? I'm gonna have to get used to these camera controls. Everything just feels so floaty in this game, you know? But man, well that soundtrack, that soundtrack is fucking great. Huh. Doom, 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 doom. All right. Soundtrack is so good. I just want to listen to it. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues and bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Bentley, I'm trying. I just gotta find a way to get back to the beginning. Because I'm missing those two back at the beginning that were up there on that cliff. So let's see. Maybe there's something that I passed along the way that leads me to that. Sly has a lot of... Sly... Fucking his double jump doesn't really go that high. Well, it's not really a double jump. It's more, what the fuck you got to say to me, Bentley? Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab. grab onto All right. Hook. Sorry. There we go. That just reminds me of shit that I need to do. Hmm. I press the button to see to see if, if you can sprint by default in this game. I don't think you can. There we go. I knew there was a way to get back over there. Get these clue bottles. Oh no! I almost jumped straight into the fucking thorns. That would have been so embarrassing. Sly is so cool. I love this game. <sighs> Funny thing about uh, a little history about me in this game. This is the last of like the PlayStation mascots games that I played. Because I wouldn't play... I didn't play Sly Cooper until like years after the third one came out. Like the PS3 was out by then. 
and I saw it in the store, and all I remember was, oh yeah, that was that thing that they always, that was that commercial they showed on fucking Cartoon Network all the time. And it was always Sly too. it's like, play as, play as Sly and his two friends, fucking Bentley and Murray. And probably like almost every other kid out there, I was just sitting there and I was like, man, who's that raccoon guy? He looks cool as fuck. I don't care about the turtle or the hippo. But now I think Bentley's fucking cool as shit. Murray's cool too, right? But he doesn't become cool until like... It's, to me, I think, I think, well, the second game, he's pretty cool in the second game. But the third game, I think, is where he shines a little bit more. <laughs> Did I just run past the fucking safe? What is wrong with me? I'm having a hard time. Look at that safe pop in. Here we go. All right, tell me what it is. Gotcha. What is our first power up? Sly, you found a page from the Thievius Raccoonus. This page teaches old Drake Cooper's fast attack dive move. Ah, oh, yes, the dive move. Pretty useful, actually. Press triangle to dive. Leave my calling card. Yes. So now we got this cool ass dive move. It's not air okay. I think this is the only game where the dive move stays. I don't think we ever get this dive move again. Sly's been practicing the way of the ninja, I see. Ah, oh, look at that beautiful fucking PNG. Low res and everything. Looks great. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power <laughs> I just love to Bentley sometimes. He's like, that's a wonderful idea, Sly. If you are such a dumbass. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you. I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Fucking... Dude, I swear they weren't meant to be friends in this game. At all. I think that was like a last second thing that they were like, Wait a minute. If this is Sly's fucking family treasure, why would he trust some random ass fucking people to help him with it and what would they get out of it platforming in this game feels awesome into the machine man what I'm dreading in this game is the goddamn vehicle missions nobody wants to do that I just can't wait to start playing Sly 2. Jesus, I love Sly 2. Uh, by the way, earlier Bentley said it. We now have a horseshoe, which allows us to get hit a total whopping of fucking two times before we die. Oh, shit. Give me that fucking bottle. Give, give me the bottle. I don't know what that guy's like game plan is with that fucking hammer. You know, he can like try and run towards me or something. Remember, Sly, hold down the circle button near the blue stealth auras to perform. Yeah, I gotta remember that, because I think in later games you just press it. Oh, there's a bottle. Wow. So even though this game is like heavily themed around stealth and espionage. There's not really that much stealthing to be had in it. It's more just a platformer. Well, at least the first one is. 
but what's pretty cool is that if you break a bottle near an uh near an enemy they'll actually notice it and they'll be like what's going on over there i, w I just want to make sure we ain't leaving no bottles behind all right Yeah, awesome. Got an extra life. Time to collect our reward. Did the rest of those bottles fall down, or did I break them? I must have broke them. Oh, by the way, coins, uh, they work like fucking Mario in this game. You get a hundred of them. Okay, I thought there was another blade. You get a hundred of them, and, uh... You either get, like, a life or a ho horseshoe. We're about to find out. Yeah, get another horseshoe. You can only collect two horseshoes to get a golden horseshoe, which gives you, uh, the ability to get hit three times before you die. Isn't that amazing? But, if you fall into the water, I'm pretty sure that's an instant death. Cause Sly, he don't know how to swim. Yada da 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 -da -ba -da -da -ba -da. That was a close one. Alright. Huh. Awesome. Did any of them fall down here? Yes, they did. Only six more to go. Don't know what this is here for. Alright. Starting to get a hang of the controls a little bit more. Oh, I knew there was a bottle down here. How do I get up there? Oh, there's a thing right here. Oh, and there's the safe. Nice. get back oh no <laughs> I thought I was gonna get crushed I'm trying to think of where the fuck the rest of these bottles are at oh there they are and how the hell Come on, camera, don't don't start rolling like that. Ah! No. I fell in the lava. Oh, I guess it's not a one hit kill. I thought it was. What's this for? Okay. Pretty sure there's a bottle down here, though. Let's 
Excuse me. There's the sink. What? I was so confused. I was like, there's the safe. Wait a minute. You better go back and find an alternate route. Yeah, yeah, I know. To enter the vault code. I can't believe I pieced this one together. Try two, two, seven. Gotcha. And what have we won today? probably need a lot of utility out of the roll, right? It is the fastest moving ability in this game. Well, technically it's not. But the R2 and L2 button, I believe if we press... No. Where is it? How do we, uh... Oh, alright. There we go. <laughs> For a moment, I thought it was like slide two, where you have to actually equip them and assign them. Come on, camera. Work with me here. I'm jumping because I'm panicking. Hiya. 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 And we're clear. I almost died there. Alright. Now with the roll, we can roll like the wind. You're damn right we can. Yeah. You never saw it coming. What's this fucking soundtrack? Aw, it stopped. Action time over. So, anyways, this life always responds whenever you, like, exit and come back from a level. So, pick up that life every time. It's just a free life. Right? Nothing over here. High class heist. Is this the casino? No, this isn't no casino. Yeah, this is just like his uh, home. Well, I fucked that up. Oh. It's okay, I got this with my new ability. Huh! Yeah, so don't worry about tripping off the alarms most of the time. They were. Excuse me? Son of a bitch. I didn't know they come out that far. Jesus. Sorry, I was checking something. Oh, so they move according to motion. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this. Shut up. You're making so much noise. You gotta be stealthy. <laughs> I'm marking a little bit off of muscle memory here. I think this place might have the best, um, the best, uh, I'm stuck in the fucking railing. The best, uh, whatchamacallit. Let's get some coins while we're here. The best power-up. Because there's a power-up in this game. That allows you to see the location of clue bottles near you if you're close enough. And that is very helpful. They're trying to belly flop me. Son of a bitch. 
it worked. Alright. with the grace of a fucking swan. Did I just run past these searchlights without even realizing they were there? <laughs> My bad. Oh shit. go damn it cool now we just gotta run all the fuck the way back to that safe. But we got rid of the security system, so it shouldn't be too hard. This is that ability. It'll make life so much easier. These are the blueprints of Raleigh's entire operation. I wonder. Yes, I can wire this info directly into your binocucom. It'll show you the position of nearby clues and breakable objects. That is amazing. That's great. So now with our binocucom, pressing the wrong buttons, we can see nearby breakable objects for possible coinage if we need so. And uh, by the way, you see the range on this fucking thing? That's amazing. All right. So let's go grab that uh, key, whatever the fuck it's called. Master key, security key, some bullshit key. I am overshooting those jumps. I am overshooting those jumps. They scared the hell out of me. Roll like the wind, Cooper! Oh shit. Oh, come on camera. That almost went off the edge. forget to grab your extra life you're just handing them out like candy now if I can get a couple more um whatchamacallit coins then uh then I get me a horseshoe Gotta love that rollability, it's so goofy. There's another extra life over here. Oh no, there's a horseshoe. 
And now I got a golden horseshoe. Isn't that amazing? This guy will never know what hit him. Watch this. Huh. Well, he did know what hit him. It was me. But onward to our next level. A cunning disguise. Those rats got pegged. <laughs> oh no, that's so hilarious to me. He's like, you know, those rats got fucked up. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty I don't know, Sly. It doesn't seem like uh, barrels can take gunshots. Alright. They're not gunshots. They're like, what, uh... Harpoons? Yeah. But the barrel will not protect you from that guy, though. Get out the barrel. Make sure you break these. So you don't ever have to deal with them again. Alright. Check this out. All these breakable objects. Where the fuck? Oh, I gotta go get the barrel. Left it back up there. Thought there would be another one down here. Come on, barrel. Don't mind me. Just your everyday ordinary barrel. Roll like the wind. Cool, free extra life. I'll take that. Why not? Get some bottles in there, too. Gotta bring this barrel with me. I wish I can roll while I was in the barrel. That guy's never gonna turn his head. forget this bottle. I don't think I left the bottle behind yet. Nope. Not to my memory. We still need this barrel. I think we still need this barrel anyways. Come on, bro. Let's go. Sorry if I'm being, like, really quiet. It's mainly because I'm really, really just enjoying this game right now. Oh, why am I so scared of the fucking spotlight? I can just do this. taking the barrel with me. Come on, Sly, you can get up there. Actually, I don't think you can. Oh, you can. Alright. There's the safe.
I'm sorry. What? Is that his mom? Or some shit? No, that's not his mom. That's just like a nun or something. That's weird. It's a humanoid frog. Let's see. Can I just walk with the barrel on? Won't it won't it just fall? The barrel would fall. It would fall. I would fall through the cracks. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I think I can bring the barrel. Alright. Come on, get in the barrel, Sly. It's your best friend. Come on, Sly. Alright, there we go. Now, just to get the last two, or five, or three, or whatever the fuck I'm missing. So, over here, I'm pretty sure there's a switch or something we can hit. My fucking nose itches. It's bothering me. Hmm. Yeah, because there's bottles over there. See, the red marks... Not the red marks, the green marks means there's bottles. I just don't remember... How to do it. There's like... A button or something. Or... You just go up here and jump over it. What's up, bitch? Now, how the fuck do I get out? There we go. Huh. Oh, there's more bottles up there. Nice. I was about to pull out the, uh, Banaki Kong. Very clever. Very clever indeed. Now we can grab this. Press the circle to enter the vault code. With the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial in two four two. Okay. Two four two. And what do we get today? Alright, so this ability, I believe, won't come back until Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. But, it's a cool ability, but not really practical. Because not only that it slows down enemies and shit around you, it also slows down Sly. So, it's either get hit while you're in slow-mo, well, at least in mid-air, or get hit at a regular rate. There's really no use for that. You can't change your trajectory that much. Right? Yeah, see, he can't really change his tra uh, trajectory that much in the air. It's either forward or maybe like a little bit of a mishap. Right? That's what I like and don't like about his double jump. Is that you can't... It gives you more air time. Yeah. You keep your kind of... Keep kind of the same momentum going. But you really don't get that much height. Or um... Or like a trajectory correction. But, you know. All the uh... Cooper parkour sparkly shit makes up for all that. Alright, um, if we press select, we can see areas we can still go to, uh, fire down below, and I think that's it right now, we have all the other keys, the prowling grounds, 
which is just like the area we're at. Fire down below. What is that? Is that through his um chimney? I think that's over there. Yeah. But you know, since we're back down here, wrong button. Oh, I thought I pressed the wrong button. Never mind. Something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough. Isn't that what I just said? Technically, it is, but uh, it was unnecessary. Roll out. All right. Why does my fucking nose itch so much tonight? Maybe it was all the cocaine I was doing earlier. I should really kick that habit, don't you think? <laughs> what if I was serious about that? <laughs> oh man, that wouldn't be a good look for me. Alright. So. Head over here. I believe. How the fuck do I get up there? Yeah, can I just climb this? Yeah. There we go. Fire down under. That has to be like making fun of the of like the way the British speak, right? Ang with their fucking England accents. Oh, you just head down under. Oh, wow. <laughs> I forgot that happens when you hit it. You bounce back off of it like that. That's cool. Oh, shit. I almost ran straight into that fire. Alright, I thought there would be a clue. But there wasn't. Uh, is there one up here? I don't think so. But there are some over here. straight into the fucking lava. Hmm. How do I get up there? Oh, never mind. Thinking about it too much. Oh shit. Took a leap of faith, huh, Cooper? Wow, did I really just jump over that? How many clues are up here? Just those three? I'm a fucking master thief. I just hit it with my cane? No. Alright. If I didn't have enough momentum to get over there, I would have cried. I would have cried. I would have ended the stream. It would have been super embarrassing. Alright. Don't over jump it, Sly.
Are there any bottles over here? Nope. Roll out. Oh, let me grab this. I want that. All right, come on. I think there might be more bottles. Let me just check. Nope, I think that's it. Alright. Alright. Turn that off. I'm missing, what, one bottle? See if I can find it without using the uh, binocucom. Be careful. Fuck it. I'm using the binocucom. Oh shit. Oh, it's over there. Wait, no, it's not. The green ones are the breakable shit, right? Yeah, green ones are breakable. I mean, not. Is green ones bottles or green ones break? Can't remember. I think the green ones are the bottles. Where is it? Oh, what? I just blatantly missed that. Oh, right in the fire. Well, at least I got it when I did. Let's move on now. Oh, it's an aerial slam. Nice. Roll out. Sucks that I gotta do this part again, though. Shoulders bothering me. It like itches. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's move on. Cool. 
Cooper bot. Roll out. That was weird. Alright, now with six keys under our belt, we can head towards uh, the next area. But first things first, as always, make sure you grab your extra life. Cool. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Alright. Good job, Sly. There's really no reason for me to collect these coins. Oh my god, camera, please. Astonishing! All my calculations led me to believe you had failed to knock out that generator. Never was wow, Bentley, thanks, best friend. Fucking buddy old pal of mine, you piece of shit. You're not gonna tell me I have to shoot myself out of that cannon. I'm afraid that's the only way. Now you're talking. You're really scaring me, man. Anyway, to get inside that thing, you had to steal all seven of Raleigh's treasure keys. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's it's. You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's devious raccoonus. I'll steal back my family's Thievius Raccoonus. This fucking guy. This fucking guy right here. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Alright, so over here is the dreaded vehicle-based minigame section. Come on. Break it. Dumbass. So right off the bat, I'm gonna make sure I grab this. Oh, shit. All right, everyone's least favorite part of this game, all the shitty vehicle shit. You found it, Sly. This is where Raleigh's gang of crabs stashes his sunken treasure. Use your sub to blast them. The left analog stick controls the sub. Give it a try. Great. Use the right analog stick to fire its gun. Do not let a crab take a chest into a tube. Luckily, crabs only take one hit. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, you crabby fuck. Don't you dare. These fucking crabs haul ass, too. Drop it. Oh my god. Oh my god. You son of a bitch! No, no you don't. No you don't. No you don't. No you don't. I'm Stark. Drop that. Leave him alone. No! Better luck next time. <laughs> Son of a bitch. God, I'm gonna hate this so much. 
You gotta redo it all over again. Fuck off, you crabs. Drop it, son of a bitch. Drop it. No, no. Son of a bitch, don't you dare. Oh my god, I hate you all. I hate all of you. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Leave fucking chest alone. No. Stop it. Stop. Congratulations, you did it. <laughs> you fucking crabs. You pieces of shit. Holy shit, I was having like a heart attack. Oh man, it's a quick save feature, right? Save and quit. Let's do that. Let's just make sure that gets saved. No, I don't want to fucking quit. Alright, now that the annoying part's out of the way, let's head up here and grab this fucking life. Awesome. Roll like the wind, Cooper. Ah! Ah, oh, you piece of shit. It's like a mosquito that just flew near me. I got a mosquito in my room. That sucks. I'll kill that bitch later. They will never see we'll hit them. Right. Oh, there's only 20 in this level. That's great. Son of a bitch. all my fucking horseshoes. Are you kidding me, Cooper? What was that about? Is that a life? Did I just see a life? Oh no, that's the fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. The lantern. Ow. Felt like something just bit my arm. And yes, I know, I said there's a mosquito in my room, but I promise you it wasn't the mosquito. Oh! Can I not get that? I gotta turn off the fucking alarm system, don't I? Alright, cool. Let's do that. Cooper, roll out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright. Is that a fucking eyeball? Why? Yup, I knew I was gonna fuck that up. Cause I landed right before he threw it.
But that's why we got a shit ton of lives. Alright. There's no bottles here. What's up, loser? Jump, Cooper. Alright. Just five more bottles to go. Are there none up here? These are breakable, though. Gives me coins. Give me that coin. Nope. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Bring it on. I almost missed that one because I wasn't paying attention. What? Alright, cool. Is there a bottle over here that I missed or anything? Nope. some bottles. Look up. It's kind of inverted. That's weird. They gotta be up there. Right? Let me see. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you, Bentley. No? No, like, secret platform up here? Where are these clues? They ought to be back at like the beginning or something, right? Something over there, but that's not a clue. Where the hell? Hmm. What am I missing, like, two clues? Said there was something breakable over here. That's the key. Where the hell? Oh. Maybe over there. Maybe they're inside there. How the fuck do I get over there? I can jump over there. Man, that eyeball thing is freaking me the fuck out. Let me just make sure they're not like above me or anything. Hmm, they're not in there.
Where the hell are these bottles? Oh, I did get all the bottles. Huh. I just wasted everyone's time. My bad. I thought I didn't get them all. Alright. What we got, this Bentley? Input Good work, Bentley. abilities probably the second best ability in Sly Cooper next to the whole clue bottle thing all right I believe we have one more level or maybe two more let's see no, it was only those two. Really? Huh. Really? Only those two. Okay. Thought there would have been more. Since we lost that extra life, let's go grab it. Because we're going to be heading to the boss fight without any horseshoes. Good job. What do we have? We have seven? Seven. Why do we only have seven? Am I not missing one? No, we got one for every level. Yeah. Huh, I thought I'd have eight. Okay, there was like no sound with that. That was weird. How delightful! We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine? You'd better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. All right. So here's Sir Raleigh. If I remember correctly, his fight is literally just don't get hit or be on the same platform as him. He then tires himself out. In which you have time to smack him with your cane. But you gotta be like really fast about it. I gotta count the uh, the jumps he takes. So one, two, three, four, five. Shit. All right. So on the fifth one, he gets tired. One, two, three, four, five. Huh? I thought that's how you beat him. You do hit him. 
It's just like really strict timing. Wow. Oh, shit! I was fucked up. Two, three, four, five. Son of a bitch. One, two, three, four, five. Take that. Now a mixture of both. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. He does like another one. Alright. Maybe it's till like uh, you're on the last one. Like I said, I don't have the best memory of this game. Come on, Sorelli. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. 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 Oh, six. All right, on the sixth one. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you're a bastard. Oh, shit. All right. I did not expect that. So, I'll just pay more attention to the flashing bits. Alright, so when he gets on the platform and it doesn't flashes, then I'll get him. Ah! I got stuck on the fucking corner. Are you kidding me? You should be fine on this one. Are you kidding me? Did that really just happen? I'm getting my ass handed to me by Sir Raleigh. I'm getting my ass handed to me by Sir Raleigh. Yeah, I was I wasn't gonna risk it. Come on. One Two, three, four, five. I still got knocked back on that one for some reason. Mm. All right. This time I won't fuck it up. There we go. And what's this about? Okay. Oh! You bastard! You beaten me! That one surprised me! Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mudshot. My villainous cohort in Utah. Imagine sitting in the womb for nine months just to be called mugshot. That's fucked up. 
without setting off alarms. <laughs> You're right. I set off a lot of alarms. The Thebius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox. Who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. All right, look at that loading screen. Liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. Bailey, how you do that thing when you talk without moving your mouth? That's crazy. Anyways, <laughs> ventriloquism. We're all set Anyways. To go to Mesa City. Our next area is Mesa City, in which we will fight Mugshot. But I think that's going to be it for right now for the stream, right? I am expecting some company within, like, the next couple of ten minutes or so. Uh, and we've been streaming for what is about two hours, right? Maybe, like, an hour and forty I've been streaming. I did start a little bit late, but we did uh, finish the first section of Sly, so... This is a nice bite-sized piece of the game, right? By the way, look at Murray getting it down. This guy is crazy. Look at him doing the truffle shuffle. Now he's walking like an Egyptian, going into the fucking uh, disco moves and shit, right? <laughs> fucking Murray's ugly sometimes, man. He's just—he is a fucking uh, fucked-up Barney. That's what he is. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Shut up, Bentley. I get it. But, uh, yeah, that's it for Sly right now. For the people who are watching this via YouTube, I hope you like it. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Put some comments down there. Fucking tell me what your favorite Sly Cooper is. Tell me, tell me what your favorite part of Sly Cooper is. Like, out of all of them. I know a lot of people like the pirate level from 3. Me, personally, one of my favorite areas is uh, dealing with the Contessa in 2. You know, spoilers, but dealing with the Contessa in 2, she's great. I like I like uh, everything that has to do with that area. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Sly Cooper. I want to thank everyone for watching tonight. You know, pat yourself on the back. And that's all I have to say. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you. I just hit my fucking desk. I'll just, I'll see you in the next video.